Hi, in this update I'm going to be showing you a new tool that allows you to push Apple apps onto your iDevice without using iTunes. We used to use an application called iFunbox, but in the recent Apple update 12.5.1.21, this feature has been blocked, so you can no longer use iFunbox to install applications. There is an alternative, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use iAmazing to install applications. You can install applications on your Apple iPhone, your Apple iPad, or your Apple TV. All you need to do is head over to entertainmentbox.com and click on the left hand side banner. Then scroll down to the section you'd like. I'm using an Apple TV 4 in this guide. So I'll select the Apple TV 4 applications. We have got applications for iPhone and iPad on this page as well. But for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Apple TV. So all I need to do is click this link. It takes me to the Apple page where it has the download. Scroll down until you see the little link here to download iAmazing. If you click this, it will take you to iAmazing website. So you can see this is the instructions. If we click this link, it takes us to iAmazing and you can see it's got a free download link. If you click on this, it will automatically start the download once you've selected where you want to save it. You can then close all this down and check your downloads folder for the application. Once you click on it, it should then bring up your install manager. So just allow access and just click yes to everything. It's going to install the files needed to put the applications on your iDevice. So just allow this to install. Once finished, just click finish and it should start iAmazing and it has, I've already got an Apple TV connected so it will recognize it and as you can see it's already recognized the Apple TV connected. So as you can see you've got a little menu here with a couple of little different options. The only option I'm going to be showing you today is how to manage applications. You can use this tool for a lot of different things including backing up and storing extra files and applications that you can push back on whenever you feel the need. It will pop up a little message here to say, do you want to get the pro version? You don't need it. All you need to do is click on the little app sign and you can see you've got a blank folder. This is because I haven't got any app applications installed on this Apple TV yet. All we need to do now is get the applications. So we go back to the website where we downloaded iMazing from and you can see you've got download links. You need to know which to which date you bought your Apple TV service because it is in dates. So I'm going to click on one of the dates and you can see here you've got the instructions again on how to install using iAmazing and you can also see we've got a few different applications for you. Just go through them, click them, download them all onto your PC, your desktop, your Mac, whatever computer you're using, download these files onto it. You can see up here we've got two codes. We've got one based on 16.1, but it's still 17. It's just got the old skin. And we've got the nightly build that allows you to install a nightly build based on the real Kodi 17. So that's got a different skin. We do recommend using the stable build based on 16.1. So once we've downloaded all the applications, you can see them here in my downloads folder. So what I need to do now is move this to the side and go back to iAmazing. Make sure I've clicked on apps so I've got this clear box. And what we need to do is drag and drop these applications into that empty box. So if I drag them here and drop them in, you can see it's starting to install the applications on the right hand side. It shouldn't take that long. Kodi does take the longest. All the other apps just fly through. So as you can see on the right, it's starting to install. And it shouldn't be much longer before all the applications are installed on this Apple TV 4. So give it a few seconds and it will restart. There we go. And now the applications are listed as being installed on your Apple TV. So if we flick over to the Apple TV now, because I've got it on the same monitor, you can see if I scroll down that we've got 
Apple TV applications. So as you can see, we've got Kodi and Arial web browser. We've got a few of the different applications that I've installed just showing you how easy this is. So I will stop and exit. And you can see the applications are here. I'll just flip back the screen over to the computer so you can see the applications here. It's not only a file manager, you can actually delete applications as well. So if you've got extra applications on your iDevice, you can use this program to delete, back up. You can do a lot of different things with this program. So I've just deleted the applications back off the Apple TV to show you how easy it is to reinstall them again. So if I flick over to the Apple TV, you should see that the applications have now disappeared because they've been uninstalled using the tool. So what we need to do now is show you how easy it is to install them one more time. So I'll just flick the TV back over to iAmazing so I can show you what it looks like once you've dragged and dropped the Apple TV apps onto your Apple TV. So if I drag and drop them and then I'll quickly switch the TV screen back over so you can actually see the applications install yourself. So if we just wait now, the process is taking place all we need to do is wait and the applications will start dropping into your apple tv as you can see cody's appeared so simpsons aerial and we'll just wait for the rest there's provenance live hd now and your web browser so that's how easy it is to reinstall applications back onto your apple, apple tv or any apple device if you are going to use this to install applications they do need to be signed to your device we do offer a service which allows you to install applications from Entertainment Box's website. The applications that you install will last for one year, so you don't have to reinstall the applications every seven days like you do using, using the general free version. So we will sign the applications for you, put them on the website, and you can then download them for yourself. Thank you for watching. This is entertainmentbox.com.